Welcome back. In this episode, I'm going to answer your question, how to buy a house by just paying the taxes. Folks, you're going to find this is really interesting. Now, my name is Ted Thomas, and I've been involved in tax liens and tax deeds for the past 30 years. I started out as an investor, and people started asking me a lot of questions about it. And then pretty quick, I was a guide, then I became a mentor, and then I became a coach. So you got the idea. Now, I buy tax liens and tax defaulted property, which are tax deeds. Now, this is a perfectly ethical business. It's been around for over 200 years, and it's lucrative, but very little, very few people know about it. So it's not well known, but it's quite lucrative. All right, now the business helps everybody that gets involved in it. For example, if you're an investor, you'll make money. Uh, if you're the county, you're going to get paid the money. If you are a tax lien holder, well, you're going to benefit because you're not going to lose your property right away. Ultimately, they would lose the property if they don't pay the tax, but the tax liens, counties and states are really pretty benevolent. So what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about how to buy a house by just paying the back taxes. So if you don't stay with me, we'll go through this step by step. All right, now the subject matter is kind of unique. A lot of people don't know about this, but it's been going on for a long, long time. Now, I'm not an attorney, I'm not a broker, I'm just a prepared investor, and I like to go to tax lien auctions and tax defaulted property auctions where they sell the tax deeds. Now, I'm gonna give you some examples of this really happening and show you students of mine that have made money doing it. But let's get into it and get into some of the foundational material. So I'm going to share with you how to make a profit by just paying someone's back taxes. Now, this foundational material is not complicated, but you need to have a little bit of background on what's going on. Now, as I said, I started out as an investor in just tax liens, then I progressed to tax deeds, and I've been answering a lot of questions about that. Now, I'll come right back and answer your questions about it. Okay, well, I'm back, and what am I doing today? Well, I'm answering the question, how to buy a house by just paying the back taxes. All right, now, there's thousands of tax lien certificate and tax deed auctions. Matter of fact, nationwide, there'll be 5,000 of those auctions this year. Now, think about that. Now, this whole business is predicated on people not paying taxes, which is unfortunate. So in the United States, there's over 100 million properties. All right, two or three percent of them are going to default on their taxes. Well, that's millions of properties, actually, when you got 100 million properties. So people don't pay their tax. So now what is the county going to do? Well, the county treasurer is going to take an immediate action. Because you see, an alarm just went off at the county records that someone didn't pay their tax. So the county, the treasurer, is authorized not only to levy those taxes, collect those taxes, but if people don't pay their tax, the treasurer is authorized to confiscate or seize that property. Or another alternative the treasurer has, in half of the states, they sell a tax lien certificate. And so either way, the treasurer is going to get their money, and that's what they want so they can run the government. Now, this is not a complicated system, but it's a little different than the ABCs of just regular real estate. All right. So the United States is divided up into 3,000 different counties. Now that's a county map. So take a look at that. That's all the little counties. And you can look at places like Pennsylvania and, and Michigan and California. You can see they're all different sized counties. Well, those counties are all separate entities. They're all separate taxing districts. So the state, that's the legislature, they make the law and they send it down to the counties. Now the counties then have a treasurer that can levy the tax collect the tax, and if he doesn't or she doesn't collect the tax, then they're going to do something about it. What do they do about it? They're either going to confiscate the property or they're going to issue a tax lien certificate. So some of the counties are very benevolent. Now, why do I say benevolent? Well, that simply means those counties are in the tax lien counties. They don't kick the property owner out. They let the property owner stay on the property. Okay, the property owner stays there, but if you're an investor, you could buy a tax lien certificate and pay the taxes. Now, when you pay someone else's taxes, you end up with a tax lien certificate. 
Now, thousands of these certificates are issued. I'm just going to turn on another camera for a second and show you a list of those right now. You're going to see a what's called a daily business review. And when I go to that daily business review, it's really a newspaper with all the tax lien certificates issued. Now, there is no uh, advertisements in these papers. What there basically is, once I open it up, is this is going to be a list of the tax lien certificates. So I'm just going to open it up to about the middle of the paper. And this is what you see. And this is a Oh, a long, long list of all the tax liens in that county. I want you to, to understand there's thousands of these. And now when I say thousands, there's 160, 160 pages in this newspaper, and those are all the tax lien certificates. All right, so investors are constantly watching for those auctions. All right, now those auctions take place. Anybody can pay the taxes on a tax delinquent property. The local government needs the money. So what do they do with that money? Well, of course, they're going to pay the school teachers. They're going to pay the police departments and so on. We'll talk about that as they go along. All right. So this list is available in all of the counties that sell tax lien certificates. Now, when they buy a tax lien certificate, you now have rights in the property. It can't be sold. They can't get a new mortgage. You have a right to get paid. Okay. So the county's going to make sure that you get paid. So the county government is very happy with you because you bought the tax certificate. Why are they happy? Because now they have money to pay the police. They have money to pay the fire department. They have money to pay for the school teachers. You get any idea? So the county has to have money. And so the taxes on property are what pay all those expenses. Okay. So the county is going to auction off those tax certificates. Anybody can buy one. The purchaser gets a piece of paper. Okay, you don't get possession of the property when you buy a tax lien certificate. You don't get possession. The property owner stays on the property. So that's a pretty benevolent deal for the property owner. So as I said when I started, everybody benefits. You're going to benefit because you're going to make a high interest rate. The interest rates on tax certificates are absolutely outrageous. 16, 18, 24, up to 36% interest. All right, so you're going to benefit. Now the county benefited because they get paid and a property owner benefit because they get to stay in there. All right, now, sooner or later, that property owner must pay those taxes. All right, that means they're going to redeem their property. In other words, they're going to redeem themselves. They're going to pay that certificate owner. Now, everybody's going to be happy. The county's going to be happy. The property owner's going to be happy because they're, they're paying their taxes. And if you own the certificate, you're going to be happy because you're going to make one of those outrageous interest rates. All right, now, what happens if the property owner doesn't come in and pay? Now, that's the big deal. Now, the big deal is guess what's going to happen to them? They're going to have a foreclosure. They're going to lose the property. They're going to forfeit the property. So forfeiture means they didn't pay their taxes. So if they didn't pay the tax, now the property owner is losing the property. However, the investor is getting the property. Oh, well, what happens when an investor gets the property? Well, that's a whole new ball game. So the owner lost their property to this forfeiture. Oh my goodness. However, the tax lien investor, that's probably you or me. We just got a property for just the back taxes. That's all we paid. Now, the beauty of the whole thing is the investor is now going to own that property. That's you and me. We're now going to own that property. And guess what? There's no mortgage on the property because when an auction takes place, the county treasurer X's out the mortgage at the county records. They wipe it clean. They just sweep it right off their property. There is no mortgage on the property. So if you get a property where the property owner did not pay the taxes, well, then you're going to have a mortgage-free property that you just paid pennies on the dollar. Now, how do you like that? Well, I'm going to tell you, you're going to love that. And I'm going to actually show you an example here in a minute. So let me give you the math on the example. Well, I'll just show you the picture and that'll go through the whole thing. All right. So Mr. and Mrs. X, uh, clients of mine, they buy a tax lien certificate. So look on the graph there. Tax lien certificate. They pay $11,000. So they're all in for $11,000. Now, I always tell my clients, don't buy anything at an auction unless you've seen it. So they drove down there to look at it and look, it's right on a, on a lake. You can see it's a nice property. It's a condominium. Okay. It's got, and it's got, uh, it's well, it's, it's up to date. All right. The point is the property is worth 200,000. All right. The property owner did not come in and redeem. So they bought a certificate. The property owner did not come forward and buy the certificate back. If the certificate was purchased back, they would get all their money back 
plus one of those high interest rates, 16, 18, 24%. In this case, the property owner did not redeem, so they ended up with a property valued at $200,000. Wow, $200,000, and they only paid 11,000. And you're saying, well, Ted, what about the mortgage? Folks, the mortgage is wiped out at the auction. So what is our class that we're talking about today? What is the question we're answering? We're talking about how to buy a house by just paying the back taxes. Now, take another look. They just got that condominium by just paying the back taxes. You'd like to be able to do that every day. Now, 97, according to the county, supervisors will tell you us that 95 or 97 percent of all the certificates come in and pay you. Here's a case where the property owner did not come in and pay, and this couple picked up that property valued at $200,000, and they only paid $11,000. All right, now this is happening across America every single day of the year because there's over 5,000 tax auctions. All right, now before I finish, I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna answer a couple of questions, so I'll take those questions right now. Is it better to buy improved property or vacant land? Well, folks, I don't buy vacant land because I don't know much about it, but I am a big advocate of buying residential land. In other words, there's a house here and there's a house here and there's residential land in between because now we know what the value is. Okay, so I like to do that. Now, I have coaches that work for me that are very, really versed on buying open land. So I don't buy open land, but I buy residential land. I really like residential lots. I, re I really like that. All right, so should you buy a property with real estate? Or should you buy residential? If you want to get rid of the risk, buy the residential land because number one, you'll get it at a lower price because people don't look at it very much. Uh, secondly, if you buy a property, that means you're going to have to maintain it. You want to make sure you get fire insurance on it. You want to make sure it's kept clean. You want to make sure that vandals don't get in it. It's up to you to take care of that. So I would say if you want the least risk possible, I would get residential lots. If you purchase a tax lien certificate, when do you get paid? Well, just like this example, there was a case where the people didn't get paid. All right, so you will get paid in 95, 97% of the time as soon as the property owner comes in and pay. So when the property owner comes in to pay to the county, the county will notify you to send your tax certificate back in. All right, now let me talk about two mistakes as I end this video. The two mistakes are this. Number one, if you're going to go to an auction, you want to avoid this mistake, and it's this. People buy property and they haven't looked at it. If you haven't looked at it, what if there was a fire? What if there was a flood? What if there was a windstorm? I mean, all kinds of things could go wrong. What if the property was next to a chicken farm? What if it was next to a pig farm? Well, you're going to have a problem because you might not want that property anymore, but it's too late. You already bought it. So if you haven't got boots on the ground and you haven't looked at it, you don't want to buy that property. So that was mistake number one. Big mistake number two that you want to avoid is you don't want to buy a property unless you have an exit strategy. In other words, don't buy property just for the sake of getting it, and don't buy a property just to, so you can win the bid. What you do is you want to buy a property because you see that you have margin. You bought it at a low price, and you could sell it at a price that's higher than that. Okay, my name is Ted Thomas, and I have a free gift for you, and it's right below me now. So if you'll register, there's a free gift there for you, teach you about tax liens and tax deeds.